Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why T2 thyroid hormone is so powerful and why I love having T2 thyroid hormone available as an option to treat hypothyroidism. And in order to do that, I want to explain to you a little bit about thyroid physiology because once you understand what's happening inside your body to your thyroid hormone, it'll be a lot more evident why T2 thyroid hormone is so beneficial to take. So let's first start by talking about some just some basics here. So what I want you to realize is that 80% of all thyroid hormone that your body produces naturally from your thyroid gland comes in the form of T4, right? So this is just the start. And T4 is, you, you know T4 because T4 is found in level thyroxine and synthroid, right? So you know about T4. You're, in fact, you're, if you're listening to this, you're probably taking T4. Now, your body, your doctor gives you T4 because he or she knows that T4 gets converted to T3, right? And so your doctor will say, hey, we're giving you this T4 um, because T4 is a little bit more stable and because we believe that your body will be able to take that T4 and turn it into T3 on demand. But that's, that's probably what most people know. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, then maybe you know that T4 can be turned into reverse T3 instead. So you have kind of two options here. And this is the extent of what most people know. This is probably what most people are aware of. Most thyroid patients, they most people know about T4 and they know about T3 and some know about reverse T3. But this isn't where this conversion process stops. In fact, it continues to go on. So let me explain. So T3 then gets converted to T2 as well as RT3. So you have both T3 and reverse T3 being converted. Oh, that shouldn't be. T3, that should be T2, right? So that's where T2 comes into play. So T2 is down farther on that conversion process. And then from here, T2 gets converted to T1, all right? And then from here, your body combines the various types of thyroid hormones. So it might take a T2 um, plus, or a T1 plus a T2 um, plus even a T3. And then it tries to do its best to make more T4 and then that process continues in perpetuity, right? That's how your body continues to recycle thyroid hormones and bits and pieces of thyroid hormone. Now, we used to think that, that T2 was just a metabolite, right? Doctors used to say, okay, well, T2 just is part of this breakdown of thyroid hormone and your body needs two T2s maybe to make a T4, and that's all it's used for, right? Well, we now know that's not the case, and I've talked about this before. T2 has very specific actions on certain tissues, especially the liver, uh, fat cells, certain enzymes inside of the body, which is why it's so powerful for weight loss and regulating metabolism, um, metabolizing cholesterol, and improving energy production inside of your cells. So T2 has action all on its own. Some people estimate that it's about 100 times less active on the T3 receptor compared to T3. I don't think that's a fair representation of how active T2 is because I think it has other benefits, which we're going to talk about right now. So let's get rid of this. So here's what I want you to understand. When your doctor is giving you thyroid medication like level thyroxine or Synthroid, he or she is doing that because they understand that this thyroid conversion process occurs. Now the problem is, even though you can take T4, it doesn't force your body to create the thing that you want, which is T3, right? The majority of you listening to this are still experiencing low thyroid symptoms despite taking your thyroid medication and despite having normal labs, or let's say normal labs, because your body is not converting T4 into T3 very efficiently. It's taking T4 and it's turning it into T3, not, not or reverse T3, not the T3 that you want it to. So what you can do is you can stabilize this conversion process by adding T2 as an over-the-counter supplement. So here's kind of how this works. So you can imagine if you, if you add T4 to the system, you're putting downward pressure, right? So this, if you, if you add more T4 in the form of level thyroxine, or Synthroid, you are putting downward pressure on this system, right? So you're, ho you're hoping that you create more T3, although you might, you might create more reverse T3 in this process. But when you take T2, which is available as an over-the-counter supplement, unlike the other thyroid medications, which are only available as prescriptions, T2 you can take as an over-the-counter supplement. And taking T2 puts upward pressure on the system. Well, that was a very bad arrow. So let's do this. Upward pressure. So you're getting upward pressure from the T2 if you take it. 
and you're getting downward pressure from the T4, if you take that, now what's in the middle? T3. So when you take T4 from the top and you take T2 from the bottom, you're putting pressure on that system to stabilize T3 levels. And that is where I think the power comes in in using T2 thyroid hormone in supplement form. Not only because you're getting the, T the benefits of T2 by itself, but also because you're stabilizing this conversion process, which goes from all the way from T4 down to T1. And the greatest thing about this, in my opinion, is that T2 is available as an over-the-counter supplement. If you wanted to get T4, you, you, could, you could do that, but you'd have to get a prescription, and most of you probably have that, but it may not be working for you, in which case you need to ask for T3. And you could get T3, which is available as a prescription, but you'd have to get that from your doctor. T2, you don't need to do that. You can go and get it, you can buy it over the counter, you can get that supplement form, and you can stabilize this whole conversion process. And that is where I really think the power comes in. Um, so that's what I wanted to explain to you guys and why I think it's really a, a beneficial to consider taking T2 thyroid hormone if you are a thyroid patient. I have other videos which talk about how to know if you need more T2 um, and, and things like that. So if you want to learn more about that, you can. Um, but otherwise, that's all I have for you guys in this one. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.